OK, so um, uh, we are planning to build a, an app, uh, which is, uh, let me just turn on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> what happened? OK. <laughs> Hope we are connected. OK. So um, the, we, are, we are planning to build an app. Um, as it's a Slash app in Slack um, using Google Cloud Functions. So I want to build some. So what is a Slash app, right? So it's something like you give a slash, and then you give like a small command, and then give some text to it, and then you try to get some output. Um, so for example, uh, I say slash kg slash London. Hopefully it works. Let me just try again. <laughs> it takes a bit of time to warm up. Give me, that. Give me a second. Oh, yeah. Good. So OK, so this is <laughs> okay. so this is what we are trying to build, OK? So um, initially, I was thinking of writing the code live. But yeah, it's only five minutes, so it might be difficult for me. Right? <laughs> I don't want to uh, experiment here. So, um, so, um, so this, is, this is kind of like the architecture that we are going to follow. Um, so you're the person here, the Slack here, and you're, you're passing this um, message. And then there is a cloud function which executes, which takes this message, does some kind of like processing, and then gives the result back. Okay, so the processing happens like it's basically we are making an API call to Google Google uh, Knowledge Graph API. Okay, so um, and and then we feed it back to the user. So there are only two things here. So uh, we are dealing with Slack and we are dealing with Cloud Functions and Knowledge Graph API. So Slack has this, like a certain format in which the message has to be uh, sent and the message has to be received. And similarly, um, the um, Knowledge Graph API. We have to make the query in a certain way, and it returns the result in a certain format. Okay, so let's go and look at the code. So the code is available here in the Google Cloud uh, Python doc samples. Um, so we have functions here, and then there is Slack here. Okay, and then there is this code. This is the code. Okay, so before we do anything, so we will need two things. So one is like a Slack token uh, to talk to Slack, and then we will need. Um, uh, search API token for, for the Google uh, Knowledge Graph API, OK? So let's go to Slack. Um, let's get the token. So uh, let me create a completely new workspace. So let's say create a new workspace, hopefully. Tracks. Let's say my email. OK, let's say Slack test, maybe. Come on. OK. <laughs> OK, okay. so that is the Slack test here. OK, and then let me, in the mean, meanwhile, go to only two minutes left. Yeah. Ah, OK. OK, then I'll, I'll start explaining the code then. Let me not, uh, <laughs> yeah, I already have the app, so, so let's not worry about that. OK, um, so let's look at the code. So I've already deployed the code just for backup purpose. So <laughs> this is the code that is running here. OK, so OK. Can you see it well? OK, so um, the, the code is very simple. That's the, that's the main point that I want to convey here. Like in, in cloud functions, you can write very simple functions, and uh, you get the results very quickly, and it hosts like a, a web server for you. Okay, so um, if you look at the code here, it's this is the main uh, call that we are making. Uh, we are to the to the Google uh, Search API. Okay, um, so we are we are we are giving like a post request to the Search API. And uh, we get like a JSON response back. Okay, so this is the search request that is being made, and we limit the result to one, and then uh, we are executing the query. Okay, so um, the rest of the code is basically just formatting for the Slack message. So while we are sending the message to Slack, we need to give these three uh, parameters. Okay, so um, um, so one is like uh, attributes. So one is the response type, which is in channel, and then um, we are giving what is the query. So if you look at it, we have the query here. So the query. And then you you're, you're passing the rest of the rest of the information as attachments. Okay, so that is the format that Slack is expecting. Okay, and these are all the fields that we are passing: text, title, link, title, image URL. So these are all the information that we are passing back. Okay. Cool. One more minute, right? Yeah. Okay. 
fine. So, um, so this is the only code, okay? And then we have the config.json, which is um, where you're passing the keys, uh, passing the like the tokens, okay? And then um, yeah, it's all it's all temporary. I'll delete it. So <laughs> don't worry about it. So um, these are the uh, pip, pip libraries that you need to pass it. Okay. So that's it. That's it here. And then um, if you look at the Slack command, this is the last thing that I'm going to say. Um, hopefully, I can modify this. Okay. Hopefully, I can get this. So this is basically just the URL, uh, which I'm which I'm passing. Okay. So maybe I don't have it here. Uh, So um, I can look at it here as well. So trigger. I just need to look at the trigger. So the trigger gives me the URL. So the, the web server is hosted here, basically. OK? So you can, um, it's very easy to build. It doesn't take more than like 10 minutes to build like a, a complete app. 